In section 1.3, we discuss force and mass. It can be a little difficult to conceptualize the idea of mass and force because in our everyday life, almost every mass with which we have contact is subject to multiple forces. And so it can be difficult to disentangle the effect of each of those forces individually on a specific mass to think about how force affects mass more generally. So in classical mechanics, we usually concoct these hypothetical or abstract uh, experimental arenas uh, in which we can isolate individual influences, in, in this case in specific forces, and ask how each individual force accelerates a specific mass. One classic experimental arena we're going to encounter frequently in this class uh, is an icy surface. So here imagine that this blue plane here represents an icy surface. And so in that case, any object placed on the surface we will assume is subject to no friction and no air resistance. So we can put a mass on this icy surface, and if we were to push on this mass, the only force uh, exerted on the mass is the force that we are exerting on the mass. So there's no friction of any kind acting on this mass. Now in classical mechanics, a force represents the difficulty with which uh, we have to move that object. So an object with a larger mass is more difficult to accelerate than an object with a smaller mass. So for instance, let's say we have a Zamboni machine riding along on the surface of the ice. And of course, if it's true frictionless ice, the Zamboni can't move either because there's no friction between the wheels and the surface to drive the Zamboni along. So let's imagine we have a rocket-powered Zamboni moving along on the ice. The Zamboni with a rocket on the back runs into our mass here and exerts a force on that mass with a given direction and magnitude because force is after all a vector. Now if this mass is say one kilogram then the force will induce a certain acceleration on that mass given by Newton's second law, which we'll discuss shortly. And so for a given force applied to a given mass, one kilogram, there will be induced a specific acceleration. However, if instead of having one kilogram, this mass was two kilograms, now that same force will result in half the acceleration as the one kilogram mass sees. In other words, uh, the two kilogram mass will be twice as hard to accelerate as the one kilogram mass for a given force. And so that's what mass means. Mass is just the resistance to motion. In this case, force, we're, we're thinking of forces as just being an agent that accelerates uh, a massive object. And your sort of everyday conceptualization of a force uh, that's, that's usually good enough uh, to understand the kinds of problems that we're going to encounter uh, in this course. However, in many cases, we'll have masses subject to multiple forces that are all acting together, and so that's where the complication can arise.